Hi, everybody. I'm John Granado. You can hear me mornings on the bench on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. You can hear Josh Jordan right there weekends on Moneyline on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. You can also read his stuff. He edits uh, sportsmaphouston.com. Josh, since Ryan Tapera made his now infamous comments about the funny business happening at Minute Maid Park, we've heard the media, MLB Network, Jeff Passan, the Yes Network, the Yankees Network, actually come to the Astros' defense. Not the Astros are heading to their fifth straight ALCS. Does it feel like maybe their reputation, the tide is turning on it? I absolutely think that's the case. I think it's turning, especially with MLB players, the media. They're starting to see that this is no fluke. This is the fifth straight ALCS with these Astros players. These are great baseball players. Now, fans... Fans are going to be fans. You still hear them yell at Tom Brady and Bill Belichick you know, for being cheaters. So that's never going to go away with the fan base. But I think with the players, Marcus Stroman coming out, you know, talking about, you know, we need to stop with this stuff, guys. Even, you know, Adam Wainwright, A.J. Pierzynski, we're talking about on the broadcast. They're like, guys, they're looking for this stuff every, everywhere. MLBs in the video rooms. It is so much harder to get away with cheating now. This is ridiculous. We need to give these guys their respect. This is a great baseball team. Well, and we saw there was a story about Carlos Correa and Aaron Judge actually now are communicating with each other, which is a bad sign because maybe Carlos Correa can go into that Yankee locker room now where he couldn't have before. We did see Nathan Nivaldi say, oh, you know what? I, I don't care about the cheating. We just don't like those guys. They're just not likable. So, you know, there there is that. The Astros, and you know what? I'll bet a lot of guys around the league didn't like how the Astros reacted to it. I'm sure that, that you know, some of them were thinking, oh, I better shut up. I better not say anything because I know there was, there was funny business going on in a lot of places, but the Astros were not likable the way that Yaltuve know, and Bregman handled it at the beginning at that initial press conference, and then Carlos Correa saying, shut the F up, you know, and, and so they've been, you know, I, I could see where a lot of players wouldn't like them, but this whole thing about cheating is just, it's stupid. Now, I was in Chicago, and I went to the games there, and I got to tell you, they, you, you mentioned the fan bases. Holy crap, it was ugly. Those guys do not like... I got a woman, I'm walking in the concourse, and a woman comes up to me screaming that my wife is cheating on me because I'm wearing Astros gear. (laughs) That's how dumb, that's how dumb it is. And there was just an article, I forget where it was, uh, SI did an article that Jose Altuve didn't cheat, everybody. Can we stop with Jose Altuve? And yet he's the face and the most hated Astro player ever. It's so true. You know, you guys had White Sox Dave on from Barstool Sports, and and he even said, like, you know, I hate Jose Altuve, but I respect him. I would pay anything for him to be our second baseman. You know, so there's that, too. And But you're still going to have your detractors. You know, like Dan Patrick came out and talked about it yesterday and said something like, oh, well, if they were so good, why did they need a cheat? You know, like that narrative's never going to go away. But you know, it's interesting. People are paying attention to your point with White Sox Dave. He didn't realize that Altuve didn't really use it. Like, he wasn't the guy using it. No. But people are starting to to learn this stuff now. I just think they didn't want to hear it. That information's been out there for quite some time. People just didn't want to hear it. Now they're starting to come around. Well, I'm with Carlos Correa. If you don't have the information, shut the F up. Okay, all you fans and you women screaming at me about my wife, okay, and hurting my feelings during a baseball game, you can stop already because you don't have the information. So let's all, what can't we just love the Ash? Can't we just embrace a team that's going to five straight ALCSs and just appreciate? And Dan Patrick, if they were so good, guess what? They are so good. They're in five straight ALCSs. Did they cheat? Yeah. But they are so good. So finally, admit it, media, admit it. Yeah, let's move on. Let's watch this very special team. Hopefully they win us another championship. How much does the Astros' redemption of their reputation help them attract free agents now? Because yeah, I could see where guys wouldn't want to come here, wouldn't want to have to deal with this stuff. You know, Michael Brantley has had to, Jordan has had to. Guys that had nothing to do with it are hearing all of this stuff from fans. I can imagine it's a, a little bit tougher. But if I'm a free agent now looking at this team and how tight-knit they are and how, how good they are and I'm getting to championships and Jim Crane pays money, I, I think I would I would come here. 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, we heard at the, the trade deadline that Max Scherzer was like, I want to go to the West Coast, and I don't want to play for the Astros. I think that's starting to change because now that we have a little bit of hindsight, the Astros were one game away from being in the World Series last year. And that's right after the scandal when they were dealing with this stuff even worse than now. I know the fans weren't in the stands, but the, the media was after him even more. So I think after last year and then this year, they do it again. They're back in the ALCS. Players want to win, John, and they know they can win here. And, and Jim Crane's not afraid to, to scratch a check. I absolutely think more players will want to come here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Bring them. Sure, sir. You can still you can come. Come on. Yeah. We'll take you.